Happy Blessed Saturday. And also, as always, it's important to thank God for the fact of us being able to enjoy this Saturday, regardless of the other things happening, going on with your Saturday, right? You had it. You're here. Blessed Saturday, right? So it's such a blessing to be able to relax and just take time, play Apex, enjoy being here, right? Thank you, Lord. Hey, welcome, Legend. Welcome, Sunshine. Everybody else as well. Legend, you said, LB, are you doing solo ranked? Yes. This season, I'm doing all solo ranked on Lifey, 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 AJ Shea, my cousin, right? All Lifeline. And as I was telling our daughter, if Lifeline is taken, hey, check it out. Listen, listen, listen. If Lifeline is taken, second, I'm going to play Disney Princess. So what that means is I have to customize her banner. We got to take time to customize her banner, right? We can't just go into the Apex games with our, our banner looking any old kind of way, okay? And then if Disney Princess is taken, then we play Valk. I know that's like super random, all right? But anyway, that, that, that last pick was super random, right? But there's, you know, there's logic there, right? But anyway, it's those three. That's the order. Oh, and it's, this is also the season of Alternator. I am going to use alternator. I'm going to prioritize that as my close quarters gun for the season. Yeah, alternator. Why? Because I'm running a theory in my mind. But I need, I need more data before I can actually let you know what it is, okay? And Sunshine, you said good, good afternoon. Hey, thanks. I appreciate that, Sunshine. How old am I? Hmm. Good question. I'm not that old like you might be thinking. Like, listen, I know I come off as being old head LB sometimes, right? But <laughs> all it is is you have to just stop and think about, like, for example, like I was saying the other day, our oldest, she, she doesn't know what Nickelodeon is, you know? She doesn't know what Nickelodeon is. It's not, it's not like, she, like she won't be able to comprehend it how we did. Uh, another another example, like I said in the past, where, you know, to me, when I uncovered YouTube, like when I found out about it, it changed my life. It literally flipped a switch in my mind because before YouTube, my mind was programmed to if you want to watch this show, you have to be at be here at this time. If you miss it, tough luck, Jack. Catch you next week. Literally. Right. Whereas now it's not, it's not the case. And I don't want to say now like that's like it's just now been a thing. But when it happened, it flipped a switch in my mind. Why? Because my mind has always been geared towards content. You know what I mean? So what, it just blew my mind on, you mean to tell me if at any moment I can literally go to the computer and look up whatever I want to look up ever, on, whenever I want. It just blew my mind, right? So, yeah. I, like, I'm not that old. It's just technology has come so far, and I've, I've seen how far it's come. That, that, I'll say like that. Right, because I'm I'm just ultra aware in, in regards to entertainment. Technology in regards to entertainment, right? Entertainment and like uh stories and stuff like that. So, okay, so let me give a different example. Let me give a different example. This'll this'll better this'll better make sense. As a kid, if I wanted to consume a story, the main ways I consume when I say a kid, I gotta say an age. As an eight year old, if I wanted to, to, to consume a story right my only options were video games but cer certain video games not all video games but only certain video games or watch a movie or watch a show but it's not as easy as just watch a show like you might think because when i was that age when i was eight not every channel had storylines there were game shows and there were news and we didn't have access to all the channels like nowadays right even back then there was a lot of times where you know we just for months on end we would just have like certain literally i know it sounds like so old but that's just how i grew up you're a part of your environment that's why it's important that once you recognize this is an environment i don't want to be a part of hey separate yourself from it right by the way though in that sense entertainment and just technology and just the state of the world has come so far, so far. And it's all clearly the enemy, right? It's just when you are aware of it, it's really spooky. It's scary because that's how the enemy works. He works very slow. He, he, he won't just 
dot, 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 boom, out of nowhere because we're all going to notice it, right? And then you'll be like, oh, shoot, I went too fast too soon. He has to slowly drip feed it, right? It's just really interesting. It's just it's sad. How I tell my woman, it, I, I always say it like this, right, because it's, it's hard for us to watch. Every day that passes, it gets harder for us to watch a movie or a show together, right? Well, it's not hard for me, but I, it's, it's hard because I kind of want to watch something with her, right? But I recognize that every day that passes, the average quality of media on average, not all, but on average drops and becomes more and more secular. So it just limits the options because whatever your eyes are a gateway to your body and your actions and things like that, right? So you gotta you just gotta be careful. You gotta be aware. All right. So I'm not that old. Okay. Uh hey, welcome, welcome, Nash. And Sunshine, you said Oh, you said how are you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sunshine. How are you? Oh, you said you don't ask people that. Good, you don't. Good. Another thing too, you don't ask. This is another another thing. You don't ask somebody this is, in fact, this is this is an unspoken rule where you don't even mention, or or you don't even teach people this. But I'm about to teach it right now for anybody that doesn't know. You don't because I've listen. I've done the full spectrum. I already explained this in numerous times. Full spectrum of careers. So it's so interesting because there's always still that person that asks. You don't ask somebody how much they're making. You never ask somebody how much they're making. If you get a new job and there's also this person that's got a new job, right? Never ask, hey, how much are you making? How much are you making? The reason why you don't ask that is because during the interview process, you might have been able to get away with getting more or less than this person or vice versa. And if you're, you're now working for X amount of money per hour, right? But then you, for some reason, you had the curiosity to get the better of you and you ask this person who just started or whatever, and then they end up telling you they're making more than you. Now you're going to feel tilted. Even if, you're going, even if you say, oh, no, man, no, no, it's, it's no big deal. Nope, eh, wrong. Even even just a little bit. That little bit of tilt is going to spread. It's a virus. You can't help it. Even if you consciously try not, choose not to. You're a human. We have flesh. Our our flesh is embedded with sin, unfortunately. Okay, so it can it's going to start to creep. That's why some people call it Pandora's box. Okay, this is one of those things where it's just don't talk about it. <laughs> Don't talk about it. It literally is not worth it in any way. But every career I've went to, there's always that person that has to come on in and then just like, and it's always a new head too. And when I say new head, I I just specifically, since we're talking about age, specifically have to say like the younger, but nothing against the young folk because I'm young too. Oh my gosh, I'm, so <laughs> I'm not that old now. Come on, man. <sighs> I'm just aware, that's all. But that's also why I have my own calendar. Because I refuse to allow my age and how I perceive the world to be limited by the calendar that the world uses. You see this down here where it says that, 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 and then 10? That's my calendar, right? <clears throat> Here's why. Because, okay, let's just pretend I'm 38. I'm not. Definitely not, right? Nothing gets it if you're 38, right? But, all right, but LB, okay, I'm young, okay? So, but anyway... Let's just pretend you're 38. The older you become after you pass a certain threshold, the higher the chance you're going to feel thoughts of regret. I can't go back. I wish I did all these things. I don't have enough time to do all these different things, right? Because that's how the enemy has programmed this world to perceive time. He's programmed you to think that way. It's, that's just the truth. But I decided, I was like, I'm just going to create my own calendar, right? So that way I can literally... You, you, you know, because that, that's just how our mind works based off the calendar. And the enemy has taken advantage of that. He's taken advantage of it for uh, endless thousands, hundreds of years, hundreds of years. Because he's, uh, and, and I'm not trying to, to boost the devil up. Definitely not. But this is the ultimate tactician. That he's been doing this longer than, than we can per comprehend. He's been doing it before the book of Genesis took place, right? Because he was up there, all right, before he came down here. Or God sent him down here, okay? So he's been doing this. I mean, come on now. He's smart. He knows how to twist it up. That's why God literally calls him the deceiver. The deceiver. But always remember, a lot of people always have it twisted. They think God and the devil are yin and yang. Ah, ah, nope, wrong. Definitely not. <laughs> it's, not it's not even comparable. It's not even comparable, right? 
In fact, God has an angel that is more comparable to the devil than... It's not even comprehensible to even say God. I forgot his name. Michael, I think his name is, right? The the angel that literally stands for the opposite of, of devil, right? By the way, either way, either way, either Because, you know, I, I'm, I'm still learning and stuff too. That's why it's important for us all to read, right? Because I'm still learning. Either way, uh, shoot, I spiraled. It's okay. <sighs> Sunshine, I blame you. Anyway, Sunshine, you said, exactly. People's business is private. If they share, fine. But you don't ask, good. Oh, that's right. That's why I mentioned that, yeah. I, every time, it just always just it just always gets so awkward. But that's one of the unspoken rules. So I I tell you all this so that way you now can go forward and and spread that message to others. So that way one day in life people won't ask that question anymore. One day, maybe, hopefully, hopefully. Because I've seen, man, I'm telling you, I have seen people lose they stuff get angry people get hurt i'm telling you this it's just like it's such a simple innocent question to you <laughs> right but then once it comes out once it comes out then man uh, and there's many other types of questions that are like that too many many others those are called the awkward questions. The awkward questions are the ones that the enemy has programmed people not to teach. But they're the ones that will evoke emotion out of a person almost instantly, right? So therefore, those should be the things that we definitely talk about and teach, right? But that's why they're the awkward ones because, you know, man, that's how the enemy is. I'm telling you. Remember. It's important to be, to not be that of the world. Gosh, man, I really wish this game was 120. It would look so good. Okay, we got to fire shots. We got to fire shots. It's just, I'm also vibing to this music, too. I don't like using that word, vibing. I remember when Fortnite had that season. I forgot what season it was, but it was literally called vibing. It just felt, it just, I don't know, it felt really forced. <laughs> I just rolled my eyes, and I was like, come on, man. Like, come on. You try a little too hard, okay? Like, come on. Right. It just sounded like really old head trying to like <laughs> trying to still like what's the word? Appeal to the to the youth. But again, I'm not that old. Okay, watch this. I'm not even in my thirties. Boom, there you go. See? That literally just like lifted a weight off of me off the bat. So I'm not even in my thirties. But nothing's wrong with being in your thirties. My woman is law, old lady. But not old in a mean way. Come on now. I'm not saying it like that. My wife. That's why I can say that. That's funny. So anyway, since our oldest is here, and when I said that, she looked over at me like, oh, Daddy. Right? It's important for me to now also say this. I remember when I was younger. Here we go again. Not me sound like I'm an old head, but it's just important to just be aware of time, the passage of time. That's all. I, I guess that's one of the reasons why. Because there have been some people who have asked in the past, too. But either way, though. But I know you didn't ask, Sunshine. But anyway. What was I going to get? Oh, that's right. I, I constantly think about, but again, not to look in the back. But just think about, I would have never, ever, 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 ever imagined my life getting to the point to where it is now. In regards to, I have a wife. Like, I knew I was going to have a woman. I adore. But it's just like. And then I, not just that. I'm, as I turn over here to look and think, then here's also our Otis, who's there to meet my gaze. And now she's waving at me. It's just like, wow. That's why it's important. You want to make God laugh? Tell him your plans for the future. Obviously, I knew I was going to have kids. Duh. Oh, and she's playing the Switch. I already knew. I, listen, I already knew as a kid. My kids will be gamers. I already knew that. I already knew that. But you know something? I thought I would have to intentionally, like, get them into gaming. You know what I mean? But but I, would, I also knew I would have to do it in, in a way to not be toxic about it. You know what I mean? Well, it happened automatically. I mean, it just happened automatically. I didn't even have to even... <laughs> you know, that's what I mean. You're a product of your environment. 
That's all they saw. You're a product of your environment. So that's why it's important for me to, to be aware of that and to constantly try to make this environment for them as good as possible. But I'm still a human, so unfortunately, I slip up in certain scenarios. Right now, I'm not touching the controller because I'm opening up some canned tuna because I'm actually pretty hungry. Because we had a day today. We went shopping and shopping and then decided, you know what, let's not get this stuff after all. <laughs> so we got literally half of the stuff. But it was it was an interesting experience, though, because we were able to teach the girls quite a bit of things that they didn't know about. Man. This is the only thing about opening up a can of tuna when you don't do it over the sink. The liquid. I don't want to sip the, li the liquid from this, and I can't open it all the way up because it's like... I don't want the lid to fall in. I don't want the lid to fall into my canned food. I just don't like that. Hmm. But I do have long nails. Okay, there we go. There's now also 100 days left of this season in Apex Legend. Okay, can I've had canned tuna in a long time. Actually, I've never had canned tuna out of a can. I've always had canned tuna... And then with the mayonnaise, right? But I eat a lot of other things from cans. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and try the can tuna out the can. Oh, tastes like tuna. Without mayonnaise from a can. Therefore, it tastes fire. All right, Lifeline, you ready? Oh, wait. She ain't fire around from a habit cat. Wait. Tripping. No havo. Only alti. I mean, obviously, unless I pick it up on drop or whatever, right? But if I find one, I'm dropping it. Come on, this ain't... I'm not kill grinding. This ain't pubsies. Man, this is such a fire skin. Oh, alti has new inspect animation? Wait, was, when did this get added in? This new inspect animation. Uh, I think this was a few seasons ago. Because it was that... Oh, no, 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 no. Because it was that one in the G7 that got a new inspect animation. I think so. Or I don't have a new inspect animation, right? Nope, still same old, same old. It'll, it'll change in time. Oh, that's that's a got that same old. Well, they they wouldn't have changed that from just last season. Was that last season or two seasons ago? Let's see if Elsa has a new inspect animation. No, I've always, I've actually always liked this inspect animation. Oh, that's Wingman. Nope, same one. I've always liked this inspect animation. Open it up. Prowler. Nope, same. Bow check. Oh, yeah, that is not. I forgot that does have a. Uh, oh, throwing knife. Oh, uh, no inspect animation at all. So that means, I mean, even ordinances have an inspect animation. Y'all know that? Even ordinances have an inspect animation. But throwing knife does not. So that means they have the throwing knife programmed in a really different way for it to not have an inspect animation. Or they just didn't just make one. But I've always did think the throwing knife, the throwing knife looked pretty hmm, odd. See, I mean, just look, I've always did think it did look pretty odd. But we have a throwing knife in Apex. I remember in the past, like when they, you know, when the game first came out, I was like, you know what? I think it'd be pretty cool to have a throwing knife in Apex. <laughs> but now they have one but it's only for a limited time mode though it's only for that what's it gun game it's in gun game it's like the last one and this for some reason this thing is just ridiculous to get a kill with it just really is one the game is fast paced and then two this thing has crazy bullet drop watch this this thing has crazy bullet drop all right so this right here is a heady is wait okay first, first of all watch how much damage it does that's a hundred so this could be going in care package i think the game would oh, yeah, I think the game would play in a really interesting way if for just one season they brought the throwing knife into the care package and took the bow check out. And due, due to the bow check, like what I said they should do in the past, tie it to the replicator only. And you can only get arrows from the replicator. But when you replicate it, you start with 15 arrows. Boom, there you go. Anyway, so, but a heady with this thing is... Uh, you saw I missed that. This thing is lit. I, you saw, I missed that. This thing is literally... I missed it! Oh, that time it hit. Right? But it's literally like a pixel. That's 200 damage. All right. Well, watch this. 
You see, it's literally a pixel. But now, watch the bullet drop. Uh, watch the bullet drop. Okay, so, let's see if there's going to be a headshot from here. That's a headshot, that's a headshot, that's a headshot. Was it the bullet drop or was it just a, it just flies really slow? Oh no, it is a bullet drop. That didn't even hit at all. I'm aiming at the head still. You see that? I mean, that's not even hitting at all. Now I'm going to aim up a little. That hit. You saw, you saw how long it took to hit? Listen. Travel slow. You can't, you can't melee with it either. You throw it only. I thought it had a different animation for pulling out another knife. Oh, that one right there. So it has two animations for throwing, pulling out another knife. But I'm sure it might have a, a hidden secret third one or something. Anyway, though, for people who know you can inspect ordinances, here you go. Yep. Wait, have I fired a bullet yet? No. The stone knife count? No. And then for lifeline, I was running long boy. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. I adjusted my sensitivity for four times optics. So I'm running long boy. No third thirty rep rep because I already has the bat, whatever it's called. Long boy and ulti. Obviously, though, I can run sentinel if I don't have a sentinel yet. I mean, a long boy. Yeah, come on. It's apex. Is what? It, come on. Stop. 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 I get it. I get it. Shh. Oh, and wingman elite. Oh man, I was fighting one yesterday, and that was actually really strong. Like, it was really strong. 50, 50, 50? That's big. Well, it was 45 before. I remember in Apex Legends, just getting a one down, a one Nomer damage buff is big. So, five whole entire damage more? That's insane. All right, okay. How much is it doing for a heady, too? I don't even know. Oh, wait, I think it ignores helmets. That's right. That's insane. <laughs> That's crazy. And still, the Kraber is still in the care package. How it is currently. Listen, you have to... So a matter of time until Bocek does exactly what I said, or they bring it to the ground and ultra nerf it or something and just like make it completely irrelevant, or they bring the Kraber out and nerf it in some way, to, but but still make it usable. Because even if the Kraber right now were to come to ground, <laughs> the game would actually be really interesting if they didn't nerf it. So if they were to bring, I'll say it like this: if they were to bring Kraber to ground, this is what they should do. It's so simple. Come on. You know how currently the charge rifle has the lowest spawn rate in the game? They deliberately made that made that nerf before they made the changes to the charge rifle the way it is now. Well, they should bring the Kraber from Care Package into the ground loot, but make it an even lower or the new lowest spawn spawn rate weapon in the game. And it can't you you still can't change anything on it. You still can't change the optic. You're still tied to that optic still. And obviously, you can't increase the mag size, right? Yep. Let's do that. I think the game would be okay. I think it'd be fun. It'd actually be a sniper where you might actually think twice about peeking. Regardless of if they're hitting a shot or not. Because these other snipers, it's, you know, you don't really, like, second guess on peeking the, the sniper. Unless, like, I don't know. It's a uh, amp sentinel or like the sniper is just hitting shots. Other than that, like the the Kraber you actually consider, maybe I shouldn't peek it just in case they hit. Just in case, you know? I think they should just for one season, just to try. It's just so clearly outclassed by every other gun in the care package and it's been that way for a long time ever since they made that nerf to the Kraber. It's been that way. Everything's completely outclassed it. <laughs> yep. Only time you run it now is if you're just playing around. I understand the potential. Potentially, you could squad wipe a whole squad, or potentially a one-shot headshot is huge. And and you know, I get it. Potentially, potentially, those are all potentials. But the thing is, these other care package guns don't need potentials. This potentially scenario or scenarios to present themselves to be good. The moment you pick up any of the, the moment you pick up any of these other care package guns. Right, besides the throwing knife, right? The only pick up any of three any of these three, you have immediately jumped up your combat power so much it's insane. It's insane. From pretty much almost any range that's relevant. Literally. But this is just too much of a of a mixed bag. It's it's like it's like those gummy bears or gummy beans or something. The ones that have different flavors. That's that's literally what the Kraber is. 
you know, you might like the flavor or you just might, it might just be some just dirty sock flavor, you know? Like, what? you know, personally, I'm not, and especially in a ranked game, I'm not trying to sit here and, and just literally leave it up to chance, personally. Well, well there's not chance. Good, good. It'll be like, yes, 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 yes. All right. Anyway, I think I'm warmed up. I didn't fire a bullet yet. Hang on. Alti, where you at? I, do, do I got to warm up the alternator? Come on now. No. <laughs> it's the alternator. Let me find the Havo. There you go, Havoc. Come here. Hmm. Hmm. Why did why did the dummies do that now? They just slowly descend. I miss like I was miss, it was just kind of odd. It threw me off. No Johns. No excuses. No Johns. That means no excuses. Come on. That was my one to two. There we go. Now will I want to run run one to two on the alti? Because this is my favorite. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. All right. Now for alti. No, remember alternate alternator recoil pattern just straight up. Straight up. But you might miss some shots every now and then. Because, you know, it, it, human error. But that's so strange. Disruptor. Jump that DPS up, please. I oh, see, I missed some shots. All right, I'm human. <laughs> All right. I think I'm, I think I'm warmed up, honestly. It's okay. It's okay. Very good. Straight in the ranked. Straight in the ranked. Hmm. And it's LB's moon fire. Hey, yesterday, was it yesterday before I said I was going to stream Final Fantasy 13? Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to do that. It's just one of my favorite games of all time. And it just felt wrong. I can't explain it. So I won't. We're going to actually still be continuing Dead Space. I was trying to get out of it because, you know, me and horror games. But that has to continue. I got to, because, I mean, Dead Space is a really good game. I'm enjoying it. It's just so scary. But I can't run away from it. I got to at least finish Dead Space, at least. At least. But I just want them to make... To do that, but for the other games in the series, too. Because if I end up liking Dead Space, like, a lot... Then I'm going to want to play the sequel, of course. But it's just going to be feel really jarring to go back. I'll do it, but... Hmm. Also, these skins for the Post Malone event thing, really good. But apparently, they're adding in a whole new tier. You know how in the game we have the different color tiers, like white and blue and all this stuff and all that. Yeah. And the gold and the new legendary and all that. And the red tier for heirlooms, mythic, whatever. Anyway, for this Post Malone thing, they're adding in a whole new tier. It's called the Iconic Tier. So in other words, it's probably just going to be tiers for crossover events for other content creators or companies or anything, stuff like that, you know. And it's green. Yeah. Now, at least I think it's green. The picture made it look like it was green. I'm pretty sure it's green. So, you know. And they're gonna and it costs more because the tiers are. But of course, it costs more because there's like business stuff happening in the background. Oh, this is game one, by the way. Oh, I forgot to customize my Disney princess banner. I have to. Oh, shoot, I forgot to take off the sink. I'll do that to this game. This is your champion. And I'm the jump master. I'm the jump master. No straying now. No straying now. Let's go. AJ Shake. What's that replicator? Oh, sniper optic? Sniper mag? Let's go. That's me. Hmm, where are we gonna go? Oh, so sorry. Three, two, one. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I gotta leave my teammates unmuted. Yep, let's go. 
Oh, I don't have a lifeline Davi mo. You know when she's like, ha ha ha, watch me. <laughs> That's literally what she sounds like. Makes me think of that one YouTuber. He he made like Apex Legends shorts, and they're just so funny. The way <laughs> the way he portrays Lifeline. He portrays Lifeline as like a loot goblin. <laughs> Like the most toxic type of players when that plays Lifeline. That's just really crazy. I don't think he's made a video in a long time. I think they're, they're, they're really outdated, but they're really funny. Oh, this, his name is like Dope2? Something like that. This is Game Boy. This is fun. I'm surprised my teammate actually got to that before I did. Remember that team did land up top. All right, I'm not gonna play off. I'm gonna play off. Uh, I'm gonna play off Bang. Oh, I got, I got Spitty and I got an L Star. All right, Bang's going up. Here I come, Bang. I think they're up there too. Unless, did we see one of them? Just give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh wait, I don't need this. Level one, you heard me. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, the game is definitely a different game with ping zone. But, you know, I'm real quick, I will not hesitate to mute that with the swiftness. You're welcome. Thanks. Thanks. I'll take this now. Okay. Okay. DK. Okay. Well, I'm holding G7 in car. Uh, she wants to push that? All right. Zip bro. I'll fire. Don't say I won't. Flow. Yep. New kill leader. Go on, watch out. I'm also gonna do the same thing with with Arc Stars like I was with Newcastle with with Lifeline. With with Arc Stars and Frags. I probably should do it with Arc Stars so I I can also slow them too when they get hit by that. To like oh shoot I did that by by mistake to to stall that push. Are right, you bringing it? All right. Your whole team has to be down on it pretty much to break this thing in time. Two. Yep, that, that guy swerved around. Oh, they got it. They got it, they got it, they got it. Well, here, this is Disney Princess. Bang went that way. I got to pick which one I'm going to play off of. They both have her actually pinging, so that's the reason why. They're both team players. I'm going to hit this split real quick. Please give me a white show. Oh, dang it. I still think Lifeline's ultimate should have been the mobile respawn beacon. I thought they were going to do that, in fact, when they first came into the game as a as a test. Uh, what's it called? Limited time mode. But I remember, in limited time modes, that's when they test things in the game. That's their, 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 true, in, their true, like, objective. Well, actually, somebody could argue the true objective is to make money. Lol. But, but... They also know that, you know, another major objective or secondary objective is to implement new things into the game. But how do we implement these new things into the game? And people actually test them out so we can get data on them and, instead of making a test mode. Because games have been making test modes forever. And the reality is the average person, even if the test mode is open, the average person still won't, won't play the test mode. That's just the truth. 
So they have to put it in limited time modes. But then still have a war. It's tied to, to limited time modes. Which is, and they've learned that. Apex has finally learned that. Which is the reason why in that one limited time mode, you have to do this like mini game thing. Go to like these locations or something. It was weird. I don't know. I didn't play that much. It's like last season. You had a currency, you remember? In the limited time mode specifically to get people to play it. So they can gather data so they can test. So like they can decide if they, they, they can add these things to the game or not. That's the real reason why. I know. Now, that's not to say what they're doing is wrong. Nothing is wrong with that. <laughs> but that's just the real reason why. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, dang it. It's all good. It happened. Nice. It's funny, the Disney princess is the, or Swamp Thing is the one playing Disney princess. Okay, we gotta customize her banner. What, I didn't buy the Battle Pass? I didn't. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. All right, Disney princess. Uh, do I want to keep her in original? I think her default pose is kind of. It looks a little <laughs> unfinished. Frame, frame. How much? Oh, I don't even have. Oh, I only have. I'm about to give her the stuff I have unlocked already. I'm not. I, I'm personally I'm not going to run a default one personally. Personally, everybody's different. Okay, so, but from what I have unlocked, oh, it's just the anniversary ones. Never mind. She's sticking with it with that. Now, actually, frames are cheap, right? Oh, they're only thirty. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to cut? Because we we have to listen. This is our conduit banner build. This is the LB conduit banner build, okay? So do I wanna do I wanna go full Titanfall build? Or do I wanna go because remember she has the Titanfall lore and stuff. So do we wanna go to like full like Titanfall 2 oh, fanboy nostalgic all build? No, I don't wanna do that. I wanna go full Disney Princess build. Yep. Yep. Full Disney Princess build. Alright, so what we got? I think that one right there. That one right there. <laughs> oh, remember Disney Princess Streamer Girl. Streamer gamer girl. With with, you know, pilots in her bloodline, remember? Because her sister was a pilot. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. What's her name again? Her her actual name? Ro Ro Rowena? Rowena. Rowena. That one was hard to push out. Man, I wish I could turn the music up more. Oh there you go, I just did. Mm-hmm. All right, pose, 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 pose for the frame. Now I already did this one. I already remember which ones I said I would get. I would get. Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. It was. Wait, I gotta go full. I gotta go full Disney princess mode. Dang it! All right, what's the most Disney princess one? I mean, that one kind of is, but that's not. That's not streamer girl either. Ah, but I like this one. Oh well, this is like streamer girl right here. You know that is. Obviously that one is, but I don't want to do that one. I I died to somebody that just had that one. <laughs> and you already know they, these ones are gonna be too expensive. Four hundred? Nah, -uh. that's outside of my price range, outside of my budget right now. All right, we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go with this one. No, that's like streamer model type gamer girl. No, listen, she's Disney princess streamer gamer girl. Okay, not all that other stuff. We're gonna go with this one. No, oh, no, no, this one. No, 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 this one. But then clearly now the color doesn't match with the skin. So we got to go to all the way down here. Not because of budget or anything, but personally, none of those ones are for LB personally. 
Now this one almost, but I'm not getting the gamer girl though part of it with this skin specifically. I'm getting the Disney princess part, but she's more than just Disney princess. She's this. She her personality is Disney princess streamer gamer girl and tough girl because she has pilot in her blood. And uh, you know, unfortunately, I only got a fraction of that from this one. But then this one is the the some of the other stuff, but none of the like, but kind of the Disney princess cars, Disney cars type vibe. Eh. But I think I'll stick with the original, personally. Wait, I think the purple ones would look pretty good on her. Oh, never mind, Ken, that's too much, 400. All right, back in our price range again. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And remember, we gotta base the color base off of the banner. They have some fire designs. Well, that one's looking like it's matching. Cardinal. We're going to use that as a placeholder for now. Cardinal. Flamingo. Let's see. Flamingo. Cardinal. All right. Let's go with this one. Yeah, that's matching. That's matching. All right. Pose badges. Let's see if I got some pink badges. Oh, man. Uh, dang it. I haven't been playing Apex in for too long of a time period, so I've been missing out on all the fire event badges that could have been good for this color. Hmm. This is the reason why it's important to do your event badges. Because event badges, in my opinion, will always be the best badges in this game, period. Period. Except for the Apex Pred badge. That that badge is the most valuable badge. Other than that, these badges are are really cool to me. Because the fashion, the fashion that, that these badges offer you is insane. And you never get another chance ever again to get them again. Once you finally decide to level up to get to the point where you care about fashion legends, you know, the, the real end game of this game, in my opinion as well. Uh, yeah, honestly, then that's when you're going to regret doing missing all these things. Because look at this collection. Even this collection looks nice to me. I missed a ton, right? Dang, dude, I've missed so many. Anyway, hmm. the badges really help bring a, a banner together. They really do. It's like a cake. the 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 badges are like the like cherry or like the extra thing on top, not the icing, but those like extra things on top, right? That's what that's how the badges are. When you're trying to like paint the picture of your banner. Your banner is need your banner needs to tell us. Remember, your banner is your identification card. It's what makes what makes this wraith with this exact same skin different from this wraith with this same skin. It's gonna be uh, but beyond how they're playing, because gener let's just, just be real. If the two wraiths are running the same skin, right, they're gonna be playing in a similar manner. Yes, it's different, but come on. All right, so it's gonna be the it's gonna be the banner. That's gonna be the main major thing here. That's relevant in my opinion. Yep. Hmm. Do I just put none on for her? Oh man. Uh. Let me see what none looks like for her. I'm gonna go with that actually. But I wish I had. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to wait though for some good bad for some good badges. All right, what are her specific badges? Uh, let me see. Energy barrier, bar energy barricade. That's her ultimate damage. Radiant transfer, savior speed. I'm gonna just get all of them. I'm gonna get all of them. They're all team player stuff, so we take those. And they're not like weird stuff, like. Like, what, what, Wraith has a weird one. It's like, just like, hang, hang on. It's just weird. Even me, somebody that doesn't care about about <laughs> trackers. Even, well, certain trackers. Where's it at? It's like a really weird one. Where's it at? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, this one. <laughs> Voices, warnings, heard. That's so strange. But I think there was another weirder one that I was thinking of. For some other legend. Hmm. Oh, intro. We got an intro. How much is blue for this? I already remember which one I said I was going to get.
Oh, this one. But that's not the sound effect. I like the sound effect. No, I like this one. Where's it at? Nope. Oh. It's my time to shine. This stuff can't do it. Ro Ro Rowena. All right, kill clip. Oh, I already had a set. GG's. All right, now for the most important one for LB. The quips. Woo. Just go ahead and equip it. Boom. Boom. All right, now I'm trying to remember the other ones. This is for the team morale. That's the reason why you would use that one. I guess I gotta I guess I'll run that one. And by it, we are killing it. And by it, time toasted. It's tough, but that's the game. Time for some new moves, Capatid. Uh, this is a game, but this that must have hurt. I'm stronger than I think in the suit. I'll run that one, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> And weaknesses, know them by heart. Sorry, no, I'm not sorry. Sorry, I like that one though. No, I'm not sorry. Sorry, sorry. I'm telling that's just like these conduit players don't know what they're doing, they're just like playing conduit like any other legend, just not taking any advantage of the character. Sorry. Not all of them, but I can just see it now. I'm gonna run that one. That one's definitely the team morale one. Then my team's like, yo, let's go. Good stuff, conduit. You know what I mean? All right. Kind of jealous everyone gets to watch the instant replay for that. It's my time to shine. If you need to. <laughs> That's the best one in my opinion. I know. Everyone has a podcast these days. Uh, I'm definitely getting that one. I know. Everyone. If you need tips, I have a podcast. I've got a lot of games. I have energy to spare. And that one too. I have energy to spare. Let's go. Wow. Rowena. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, this one. You should see me with a foam dart. I'm deadly. You should see me with a foam dart. <laughs> I'm dead. You should see me with a foam dart. I'm deadly. All right, for the kill quick one, that's going to actually be the kill quick one. You should see me with You should see me with a foam dart. I'm deadly. I can just see how she says it cuz our oldest actually did it too. <laughs> that's funny. All right. Oh, finishers. I'm not buying the other one. Yeah. All right. There it is. The LB. I mean, that's. I mean, it's day zero. I haven't even touched her yet with, with that. So she ain't even been been out. The uh, you know, not at all. So that's only if Lifeline is taken though. So how often will that happen? Not often. I mean, it'll happen sometimes. Uh, it'll happen sometimes. I'll say it like this. I imagine it happening if I if I play Apex and if I don't drop Apex for this season at all, like if I go through the whole season, which I might, it's very likely, it's incredibly likely actually. Then I imagine I'll probably have, but I'll probably finish this season with how many games will I have played on the Legend in? I'll probably have played maybe a hundred. I don't know. I, I, that number feels like it's way too high. Maybe like thirty. Maybe. Yeah, I think that sounds about right. I don't know. Maybe that sounds too low. I have no idea. Literally. I could play her this next game right now. Who knows? God knows. I don't know.
Well, guess I'm playing her right now. Like I just said. Okay. See, I Hey, it says zero, 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 but that looks nice. That looks good. See, sometimes it's better to just sacrifice not running any badges than to just throw something on there just to try to fill out the picture. It's like, oh. If anybody pings, I'm just, do I relinquish it? Or do I commit to it? Oh, okay. Oh, wait, I don't have a dive emote, lol. Is anybody coming to LB base? Nobody coming to LB base? We're going to LB base. Oh, I wonder how tall she is. I wonder if she's as tall as Lifeline. Because before this character, if she's the same height, Lifeline was the shortest legend. But now let's see. Oh, dude, what the heck? I'm pretty sure I turned that, that, that feature off. Why did the game turn it back on? Off screen. Where's it at? Off screen portraits. I, I I have it off. Game. I literally have it off. So why are they showing on? Oh my goodness. It's a bug. That is a bug that definitely needs to get fixed. <laughs> That's not should be it. it should not be a thing. As in it should not be a thing where if I turn it off, it's on. That's what I mean. Not the bug, uh, the, the whole thing. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna run same little as lifeline that I'm gonna run with her. Calling dips. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, look, the passive. I forgot all about that. Wow, that's a really strong passive. In fact, I can literally already just see the dip. Just. The obvious, just dummy obvious ways that can be implemented. But I can see people, like, blowing it out of proportion. She's so strong because of her. No. Oh, wait, I don't need the graphing thing yet. What does that mean? What does that mean? What the heck does that mean? That, huh? Oh, that's for my tactical. I was locking onto them. Thanks. So, how does the passive activate? I know it's something to do with my teammates. I don't know. Let me, let me read it. Dude, these off-screen portraits hurt my eyeballs. Wait, I didn't need that. All right, let's see. Conduit gains a speed boost when running towards allies out of her tactical range. Well, what's her tactical range? Okay, I have to let the circle fill up. So, yeah, she literally was made for LB so I can catch up to my teammates when they run a mile and a half away. So I can protect them. But nobody can do it better than Lifeline. Sorry, Lifeline is just the strongest support legend in the game. And from a rank perspective. The other ones are really great. Oh, excuse me. Loba's the strongest. Loba's the only S tier. Or excuse me. Loba's the only S tier of the supports. Then it's Lifeline. Not to say the other ones are bad. They're not. Duh. But Lifeline. Or excuse me. But I need more data on her, though. I, I'm not. I'm not including her conduit in that statement because she's new. I, I literally only had like three days with her, or with the with this season with her in it. Dude, that's way faster than double time. I feel like. No, actually, it might be double time speed. What's the name of the passive? Save your speed? Why does that happen? Why does it stay active for so long? What? They don't want that? Huh? I'm about to say, you better take that. You're ready. So, as long as she's outside of my range, it'll just continue to activate. Is there a cooldown for it? Bang's double time has a cooldown. People don't know that. Does it even speed me up on the zip row? No, actually, here's the way that zip rows work. Zip rows use a momentum system, but zip lines don't. Evo shield here, level two. Better say yo. 
I can smell my alternator coming up real close. Uh, drop that. Do I want to run a Sentinel or a Charge Rifle? Hmm. Still don't know how to feel about the Chargey. It just isn't comfortable using that charging mechanic at all. Just does not feel good. Yes, please. Dibs. Everyone's got favorites, and that's mine. Thanks, Renee. Ah, 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 oh, wait. Was that on purpose? Was that on purpose? Did she do it on purpose? Uh, no, there's no way she did it on purpose. She genuinely changed her mind, right? Yeah, that wasn't on purpose. Right? Yeah, that wasn't on purpose. So I think as long as I have line of sight of that thing, and I'm outside the range, the the boost is permanent or it just stays active. I don't know, dude. Cause that time, that time it was active, but the effect, the effect didn't didn't like play. I'm saving my replication materials, so I have enough to get which call it banners if I need to. Alright, you so you see it appeared, but it's still active. But it's still active. But I still have her in my sight. It has no cooldown, dude. It doesn't have a cooldown, it just has to wind up. That's just I mean that's fun. It's not too strong. I think I think that should be a mechanic for every legend, honestly. Or at least the supports only. I don't know. But I don't think that's too strong. Dude, why'd I have... Oh, I did not mean to do that. I don't even know how that happened. I didn't even push the tactical button. Uh, clearly I did, right? Oh, well. 20 seconds, cool down. And that's not that long at all. Honestly, for what it does. How much shield does it give? I think the Wraith is being toxic, actually. Yeah, I want that. Alright, fine, I'll take it. I never checked the first floor. See, it was on the first floor of this building, I don't think. Back to, uh, uh, oh, yes, I did. This is the one with the R Ari. I think they might have literally created like one of the like greatest support characters in regards to like just design. They knew exactly the the specific demographic that this would have appealed to. It just works. The ring is near, but it closes in ten. At least. They I mean they did a great job. I just don't wanna say it. I don't know like how to say it without it coming off as bad, but that's not my intent. Just in case Lifeline don't hear it. Oh, no, I, I'm still looking for an optic, too. That's not just a two times. Care package coming down. Helpful if you need gear or a top up.
Doesn't it heal me too? My tactical? Blast regenerating temporary shields for them while they are in danger. Maybe they nerfed that or something? I don't know. I thought it did. I guess not. I thought it did both of them. Like Dahlia, kind of. Something kind of like that. I think it probably did, didn't it? And they just changed that? Oh, I have no clue what at all. I have no clue. Be like I got it two times. And yes, there is one under us, I know a mirage. Ooh. That was kinda of waste, wasn't it? Cause like she ran inside, I didn't know how to do that. I just wanted to do it. I got a blow. How much does that does the wingman elite come with? I feel like it's 84. That just sounds like a really right number. Oh. Oh, it does do it for me too. Where'd the sniper over here go? Is, uh, do we know for a fact that that, that guy's gone now? No, he's still over here. Over that guy's got a good optic. He's hitting his shot. He's probably he's like the type that literally is running the, the actual sniper optic. I only got two times. I don't want to keep poking this guy. I don't feel like wasting more cells. Spot on! Oh, good crack. I think that was a uh, callus. Broke they shield now. Yeah, that person's gone. I hope. That's a decoy. Wow, she has no audio when she does that. I can't hear anything when she does her, her attack. That's that's actually really balanced. I like that. Y'all goons would be so lucky I got. I don't know how that, that's how it works. Nice. Look, I'm almost off, off of cooldown again. This super strong, super strong kit. I definitely, I'm pretty sure that that, that ultimate work, worked well right there as well, too. I have to go around it. I just don't know how long it takes to activate once it's thrown. Whoops. That's me, please. Oh, did I have on this? Oh, Alti. Hmm. All right, what are we up to, team? Oh. Lifeline, you should drop a a hill drone. I think you could drop the hill drone. Oh, do I never found an optic, by the way? Oh, thank you. Care package over there. Go ahead. Ten seconds to the ring. It's close, at least. The wraith got me.
Lol. Oh, I forgot there's one more. Oh, sure, I forgot you can't. I forgot. If you interact at all, it cancels that. Place really good. Third place. Third place. Third place. Nice. GG. 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 Well, what do I think about Disney Princess? I'm gonna be honest. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Mm. Mm. Disney Princess. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Her passive. I don't like having to always keep my eyeball on my teammates. I don't have to do that. I already do that anyway. But. Oh, that's another reason why they added the off-screen prompt to help players with her, like new players, the aka their specific target demographic. Specific, but anybody can play her. But okay, yeah, but mm, is it on for her by default? You can't turn it off for her. I don't know what that was, but honestly, I might have to not make her my second after all. It's just a passive, personally. For me, a passive is a really big thing. Right, because a passive is the thing that's like I want it by default automatically. That's why it's passive. So that's a major part of the character. And if I don't like a character's passive, that might that's a huge thing. I like everything else about the character. I like her tactical a lot, but her passive, the just keeping the honest and that's made for LB. But it's like I don't know, man. It's oh, I oh, don't know. I understand it's very strong. Let, let me see how much was actually done there. So, in that one game. So, I was able to... $399. So, I'm hoping that shield that I gave to my teammate that they didn't have. Make sense? I'm hoping that's that's what that is. So that's 399. That's a lot of shield. Considering that the pace of the game, because that's a ranked game. That's not pubs. Well, actually, in a pub game, when I go, look, you're playing a different game than ranked. Go somewhere else. Okay, so that's actually quite a bit. That's like one whole fight. And in fact, that was like one whole fight. So, yeah. 399? Hmm. Her pose, her, I mean, her, like, how oh, she's standing, though, it's just, it just feels so unfinished. <laughs> and that's probably what it actually is. It's probably what's actually going on there. It's just unfinished. But, I mean, I can clearly see she's strong. Duh. But I need more game time. In fact, I'll have to continue playing her just for the purposes of seeing how I would feel where she puts, where, like, I would rank her on my tier list. The potential, and then uh, the, just how the community is using the using the legend. Oh. Oh, guess I can get another game on with her. I like her thing. Her thing is pretty tight.
I think it's pretty tight. Introducing your champion. It's very animated. Like her, Disney princess. Caustic and a lifeline? Yeah, team players. If you need tips, I have a podcast. I know everyone has a podcast these days. That's not me, team, I promise. Alright. Jumping! I think we should go there. No, <laughs> she said jumping. Okay. okay. Oh yeah, I got team players and a half, dude. And uh, oh, teams a, a late drop. I can't tell where they're landing. Dude, I'm, I almost just land through it. I don't think I can turn this off for her. That is very unfortunate. And that definitely needs to change. It needs to be. Uh, I need to be able to change that. Even for her. Well, but LB, you won't hush. That's how it begins. Placing an independent variable. Round one. Next ring is fall. I have a subject in view. Alright. I'm gonna have the caustic. He's, his pings have been on point. But so has the lifelines, I'm pretty sure. If she wanted to. Uh, I kind of do want that shield, but we're already over here. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? No time to debate gun attachments because... Oh, get off the pole! Oh, no. Dang. And that scenario... I just didn't hear the person. I heard them too late when they were directly underneath. And that was completely... Had nothing to do with the fact that I was conduit either. Yeah, go for it, go for it. Lifeline was that, like, no, I can't get you. Azaldak. Azel Dak. That's like a World of Warcraft style type of name, huh? That that's literally sounds like a World of Warcraft character. Like the final boss of one of the expansions. I was like a turn the camera around and see if they're just like just hard tell in the lifeline but just didn't shoot a bullet <laughs> too much the finals finals you have free count but you actually only have free count when squad wipe happens oh when is the cross progression coming in or whatever I need my skins to transfer from my PlayStation account I don't have enough currently. Oh, there's a team here. Oh, two teams here. Unless that's like the struggle. No, that's two teams. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Life lines like the same. It. I wish there was a legend I could interact with the ult with the respawn station. I know Mirage can, but let me rephrase this. I wish there was a legend that I could like do something with it i don't know what but just like open up a compartment or something in it i don't know something uh, uh i don't i have no idea a legend that can use used respawn stations you know how strong that'd be this is why that'd be strong because it's not showing up on the map anymore so there's no reason for us to think that you know what i mean either that or a legend that can use a respawn station from a distance something i don't know I wish there was just some another interaction with the respawn stations, like the active ones on the ground. I 
I wish they functioned different than mobile respawns besides the fact that, you know, they're already on the ground. And I, I know you can revive somebody faster from those than you can the mobile respawn beacons. The mobile respawn beacon ones, you have to hold it longer. And it has to fall in and it's, you know, it's loud and stuff. Hmm. It'd be cool if the if the normal respawn station, you you fall into the sky kind of like how you do in uh, Titanfall in the Titanfall universe, how they do in the military where they fall from the sky. That'd be pretty cool. Why does it say craft banner for me only, or I mean for caustic only? There's two. Dang, <laughs> amp sentinel. Octane pad. Whoop. Oh, LB's phone's ringing. Okay, bad news, but not bad news. It's bad news, but it's not bad news, okay? LB's gonna have to conclude stream because something came up in IRL, right? But either way, have a fantastic rest of your Saturday. I might, might, might stream some Death Space tonight. If you watch my VODs, I appreciate it. Thank you.